Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. In this video I'll show how to use the low power mode in sleep. The STM32 has different power save modes and this is only one of them. So let's get started. So what is sleep mode? Sleep mode is one of the options to have the STM32 running at low power mode. In this mode the core is stopped but the peripherals are still running. You will need to use this mode if you need to use the peripherals running with the DMA or any other function that you can run without using the core. For example, if you want to read the ADC into the memory, you can use the DMA, and when the DMA is full, it will interrupt the core, and the core will start, and then it will use all the data that came in from the ADC. So the way that the HAL works is by initiating the NVIC, then initiating the GPIO, use wait for interrupt, this is WFI, after that, when we create an edge, this is exiting interrupt handler. It will go into the HAL external interrupt handler, and then it will go to the callback. When we want to go into sleep, we go in this section. So the microcontroller goes into sleep mode. It only wakes up when you go into the WFI. To enter sleep mode, we'll have to use the HAL power entry sleep mode. And one more thing that we need to change is the settings for the ST-Link. We need to set it to connect during reset. This will give us the ability to be able to program it while we're in low power mode. A simple example will be opening a project, putting HAL delay 1000, HAL power entry sleep mode, then we need to set the low power regulator on, we can set it either on or off, and the power sleep entry for wait for interrupt. Let's do this and see what happens. I'll speed up through the Cubemix settings. If you don't know what I'm doing, as always, go back and watch the SM32 Cubemix training. As always, I'm using the L053. So here's the project. So going into the main, just after the while, we'll do halt delay, and we wait 1000 milliseconds, that's one second. Then HAL power enter so you can see there is sleep mode standby and stop mode this time we'll do this sleep mode now we set what type of power regulator we're going to use so we're going to use the low power and we'll keep it on and how we're going to exit either with an event or with an interrupt Let's compile this. Let's debug. Let's run and see what happens. Now, because we're in debug mode and the microcontroller went to sleep, it threw me out because it doesn't see anymore the debug. Pause this video and measure the current consumption. Did you manage to get it low? Do you think you can get it even lower? The way to get it even lower is to suspend the cystic. The cystic keeps on running in the background even though we're in sleep because the cystic is part of the peripheral and not part of the core. In order to reduce even lower the power that you see in your measurement, go ahead and suspend the, the cystic and after coming out from wait for interrupt, then you can resume the cystic. So all we need to do now is HAL suspend and HAL resume. Let's compile this, click debug. Let's debug this, click the resume, and check the power consumption now. Thank you for watching this quick video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will get the notification when I am uploading new videos. Thank you.